Have you ever met a person that just seems to be good at every skill that has to do with sports? They can throw and hit, they can toss, catch and kick, they can shoot and dribble. They just seem like an all-around athlete. How do you think they got to be this way? Now, I know most of you are saying that they were born this way. And yes, their genetic makeup definitely has something to do with it, but not everything to do with it. If I had to guess, I would say that they played way more than just one sport. In order to develop all of these different skills, they have to be playing games that involve those skills. In today's Bullpen Bulletin, I'm giving players my top three reasons why you should play as many sports as you can when you're young. Hey team, Coach Hart here with Building Better Baseball, the best place for baseball education. I want to welcome all new teammates who are finding this channel for the first time. Welcome to the team. This channel is for youth baseball players and coaches to learn more about baseball with tips and advice to take their game to the next level. If that sounds good to you, be sure to hit that subscribe button and the bell icon so you can catch every video to improve your game. For all new teammates watching, I want to make sure you grab your free guide that's down below. There's a free equipment guide that explains every piece of baseball equipment and helps you find the right fit for you. Any coaches need help with practices? There's a free two hour practice plan that's complete with two practice blueprints that's just for you. I'm here to help you be the best you can be on the field. Don't forget to grab yours down below. Now, let's talk about why playing multiple sports at a young age is the best thing you can do as a young athlete. My first reason for playing multiple sports is it will help you keep yourself active. The human body is meant to move. The way our body is structured with two legs that help us walk and run, with two arms that help us reach and grab, and with a muscular system that can get stronger and better with more and more movement, our bodies are not meant to be lying or sitting down for long periods of time. We're meant to move and to be active. If you play one sport when you're young, that means you probably have a couple practices and a game or two in a week. So that's three or four days a week out of seven that you're active and you're pushing your body to its fullest potential for a few hours a day. What are you doing the rest of the hours and the rest of the days that you're not doing your sport? I know some of you are very active and you never stop moving, either practicing your skills or just running around the neighborhood, and that's awesome. But I also know that some of you are sitting the rest of the time and probably playing some sort of game or watching TV. If you added just one more sport to your schedule, that would double your activity level in the week. That is huge. That's a perfect balance between activity and rest, because that's what sitting and lying down is meant for, rest and recovery from activity. Adding on to the last point, adding a sport doesn't have to be in the same season. If you just play baseball, you're probably playing spring and fall baseball. What about winter and summer? There are plenty of sports you can add to your schedule that will help keep you active year round. There's an obesity epidemic going on in our country that seems to only be getting worse and worse with every passing year. It's affecting adults and children equally. And one of the biggest reasons is inactivity, people just not moving as much as they should. Now, I am fully aware of many health reasons why many people are not able to be active, and I am not at all referring to you. Please understand that. But if you're able to get out there and move your body, make sure you do as much as you can and playing multiple sports at a young age will really help you stay active. My second reason for playing multiple sports is you will be a well-rounded athlete. Since this is a baseball channel, we're gonna talk about baseball first. What skills do you need to have in order to be a great baseball player? I know we could list a bunch, but we're just gonna list a few. You definitely have to throw and catch, right? You have to have speed to run the bases, and you have to have hand-eye coordination to hit the ball, and let's say strength and power to hit the ball far. Those are the big main skills that you focus on in baseball. So if you only play baseball, you're gonna be really good at those skills. But what about other skills like foot skills or catching something with two hands without a glove or jumping ability or balance or agility? It's really amazing how many skills our bodies are capable of. But if you only play one sport, you're only gonna be using the skills that you do in that sport. So if you play baseball and soccer, your body will be great at all the baseball skills we just listed Plus, you'll be great at using your feet to do things like kick. Now, you're able to use your whole body to accomplish things, not just your upper body. You're balanced. Not to mention your running ability. Don't you run a lot in soccer? Do you think the running that you do in soccer will make you faster? Don't you think being faster will help you with your running in baseball? Being a well-rounded athlete means you're great at many skills and you can use your body in many different ways to accomplish things. Do you really work on jumping ability in baseball? Not really, right? 
But what if you're an outfielder and you want to jump to rob a home run over a fence? I bet playing some basketball where jumping is the main skill would help you rob that home run, don't you think? When I was young, I played nearly every sport. The one sport that I think really helped me get through all those seasons of basketball and baseball and tennis and everything else without injury is swimming. I did summer and winter swimming. Swimming is an amazing workout for your body, and I believe it increased my cardio and made my heart and lungs stronger so I could play other sports without getting tired. But also, it made me stronger. It strengthened my throwing shoulder especially, which is why I was always able to pitch without getting sore. And if I did get sore, it was only for a day or two and I was back to normal. The more sports you play, the more skills you will learn, and the more well-rounded you'll be as an athlete. Play as many as you can. My third reason for playing multiple sports at a young age is it'll give you more opportunities to play in high school. The last thing I'll discuss is high school sports. When you get into high school, there are three seasons that you can choose to play a sport. Fall, winter, and spring. Do you have a really strong desire to play a sport in high school? To be able to represent your school on the court or the field? To be able to play for a high school team? Now, in some high schools, that's not totally guaranteed if you try out. There's always the possibility at most high schools to not make the team. Keeping that in mind, wouldn't you want to give yourself as many chances as you can to make a team in high school? Me personally, I would rather have four or five chances than just banking on one chance with one tryout. If you only play baseball, that's what you're doing. You're not doing anything in the fall or the winter, and you're putting everything you have into baseball tryouts in the spring, hoping that you make the team. If you play multiple sports, you can try out for different sports in every season. Try out for soccer or football in the fall. Didn't make it? That's okay, I have basketball in the winter. Man, didn't make that either? That's okay, I have one more chance in the spring with baseball. If you really wanna play on a high school team, you'll give yourself so many more chances to play a high school sport if you play as many sports as you can while you're young. I remember when I entered high school, I played football in the fall, I had the choice between swimming and basketball in the winter, and I had baseball in the spring. Because I played so many sports growing up, I gave myself four chances to play a high school sport. You can do the same thing. All you have to do is get your parents to sign you up. If you don't like it, that's fine. But if you do, you'll add that to your list of sports that you like to play, and that's just adding another chance you'll have to play on a high school team. For all players watching this video, how many sports do you play? Leave a comment below and let me know what sports you play. And if you only play baseball, let me know what sports you'd like to start playing. You might find some other teammates who feel the same as you. And don't forget to grab your free equipment guide and your free two-hour practice plan in the description below. Remember, if you play multiple sports at a young age, you will keep yourself active, you'll be a well-rounded athlete, and you'll give yourself more opportunities to play a sport in high school. Thanks for hanging out with me today. I hope this video gave all youth players some new knowledge on how playing multiple sports can help you as an athlete, and it gave you a new spark to get out on the field or court and try a new sport. I'll see you next week for another edition of the Bullpen Bulletin.